Hey everybody, Scott here. Uh, just wanted to introduce you to our autumn 2017 Yunnan sourcing uh, line of teas. Uh, we've, I think, how many do we have? I think, well, I think 19 in total. We did 19 different villages. Um, we also did a impression cake, which is not here yet, which is being pressed. Um, that was our blended cake for um, for this year. So we'll be looking for a 2017 impression cake. But let's get started. Um, well, let, first of all, I would say autumn 2017 um, harvest was really quite excellent for autumn harvest. The weather cooperated um, quite well in most areas. With um, without a huge amount of rain, it dried out um, in time. Enough sun. Um, temperatures were cool. So all in all, I felt like the autumn teas um, this year were quite excellent. And um, there was enough in terms of um, the harvest levels um, that the prices were, were, were good, not too high. Um, but the quality is definitely there. As I've discussed in some of the other um, videos, I just... Um, recently did an Ebong um, autumn and spring video and talked a little bit about that and difference in pricing and taste and things like that. So as you know, I am a fan of autumn teas. I think they have their own unique profile. And I also think that they're a great value as well. So um, without further ado, let's talk about the teas that we did. And we'll also talk a little bit about the, um, about the wrappers as well. Um, So starting out, and this is a, a new village that we've never done before. This wrapper here done by Sarah Wood, um, the US, um, is one of our, our contest winners. And um, you can see here, nice, really nice design. This is the DGA, which is actually the first time we've ever done um, DGA Village. DGA Village is, um, is of course in Lin Tong and uh, near the Bingdao area, very, very close. Actually, you can walk there in a very short, uh, short amount of time. So this tea has a lot of um, similarities to Bingdao tea. And in fact, DJ Village has become fairly famous, um, which makes this our most expensive tea from Lin Tang for the autumn teas, um, most expensive by quite a bit. So but definitely worthwhile, an excellent um, tea from um, old tea trees. Um, and that we've also got, um, we've also got the Nampo, Nampo Gushu, which is also a Bingdao area, Nampo village, very close in. This is also one that we've been producing since 2011, I believe, and um, has just been um, somebody that we've worked with for quite a few years now, and we're producing this time an autumn tea. I don't know if we've ever produced an autumn Nampo. I think the previous ones that we've produced have all been spring, but this one was really excellent. Um, again, older tea trees, you know, not like a thousand years old or even 500, but mature, um, naturally growing tea trees, strong character in this tea. Um, and we have the Nuo Wu. No, also on the other side of the river, across um, just east and a little bit south um, from Bingdao, uh, we have Nowo Village. Um, also, um, you know, H, you know, older tea trees, mature, naturally growing. Um, no, we've been producing, I think, since 2015. We've been working with the family there. And all these are real small production. I think this is maybe, I want to say 30 or 40 kilos for the autumn. And let's go to this one next. Ba Wai, which is just the next village um, down from Duo Wu. Um, again, naturally growing tea trees, some of them fairly old. Um, nice, strong taste. Um, I find that Ba Wai is a little bit... Um, how would you put it? Um, it's got a little more sweetness than Noel. Noel tends to be a little bit stronger, but they're both quite really strong teas. So, and of course, Mushu. 
our Mushucha or Mother Tea Trees is from the Big Snow Mountain area, which is um, also not far from Bingdao. Big Snow Mountain, just so everybody knows, is a large area. Um, there is actually a Big Snow Mountain in Yongda County, and then there's also one in, um, in Mengku County. And I'm referring to the one in Mengku County where this tea comes from. Again, um, really strong, powerful tea. Um, this is a tea we've been producing from the same grower since 2011. So if you're interested in trying some more aged versions of this, we also have several um, autumn um, harvests as well. Um, going back to, I think, 2013. So you definitely want to check those out and maybe um, pick some of these up while they're young and age them if you're interested in aging. And from the other area that we really like to work with is, um, is a Bandung, Bandung area in Lintau. And this is, uh, ban, this is uh, from the same family that we've been working with um, for a few years now. This is called Bandong Gu Shu, um, old tree, maybe not ancient, but old tree. Um, very nice tea, very strong. Um, and this tea is also very affordable too, I think coming in at just under $40 for the autumn tea. Um, but it's a solid performer, a lot of bitterness, a lot of sweetness, a lot of complexity. And the Bandong Zicha or Bandong Purple Tea. So this is an interesting purple tea and it's really unique. To, I've never seen one quite like it. So this is purple in the sense, um, not like a Yesheng Cha purple or Zijuan Purple Beauty purple, but like a um, like Zicha, Ziya um, purple uh, tea, which is actually um, a naturally occurring um, mutation of just the uh, Asamica tea tree where it turns purple. You can read about it a little bit on the listing about that. Um, but what's interesting is when this tea is um, young, when the leaves are just coming out, there's a purplish tinge to them. And the tea has a really unique character. Um, it's similar to the Bandung Gu Shu in some ways, but it also has, because, of, because it's a purple uh, mutated varietal, it has its own really unique taste. Um, it's quite strong tea and really nice aroma. There's a lot of sweetness, long kind of, draw, um, you know, length and long mouth feel, um, nice aroma. So this is um, from the same family as the um, Bandung Gu Shu, which I just showed you in Bandung village in Linshang. And that concludes our uh, Linshang series. And now we introduce the wrapper style for the Jingu series. And again, Jingu is in um, Simao or also call, called Pu'er now, Jingu County. It's actually east of Mengku, um, Mengku being in Lintang, of course, but it's, this is um, Jingu areas and um, is in uh, Simao. Uh, this particular uh, wrapper was done by Timothy Ch Chaco, Chaco. Um, of the US, great design. Um, and this particular village is Bai Hua Di, which we've never made before. Um, this is one that Xiao sourced, and I am just in love with it. It's got a lot of complexity. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the He Tao Di um, from the spring. It's got a lot of complexity, sweetness, really nice, big, full leaves, um, just all around a really nice, balanced tea and um, definitely not lacking in any way. Kuju Shan, um, one that we've been producing for quite a few years now, Kuju Shan, I think we started in 2014. Um, real classic Jingu, affordable um, tea, especially the autumn. Nice um, mature chi trees growing in this area. Yeah, um, definitely check out Kuju Shan. We've, we've got several years and harvests of that, spring and autumn, I believe. So if you want to check out some of the um, older ones um, and try those, uh, I would encourage that as well. Tong Tiao Gu Shu. Um, this is one of the areas where we get some older um, uh, tree, uh, tea from older tea trees. Um, Tong Tiao, which I think kind of literally means rattan village, but 
Um, it also refers to the style of the, the type of tea tree that grows in that area. Um, I don't really understand why they call it Tung Tiao, but it has a, the tea tree is a special um, kind of sub-varietal of Asamica, much like a um, large mixed leaf varietal, but it's its own varietal, and they call it Tung Tiao. Um, really nice tea. Um, some of the biggest leaves and stems that you'll see, um, especially this autumn tea, um, very nice. We've been create, we've been producing this now since I believe, I want to say 2014, but I could be wrong. It could be 2015, but for a few years now, there's a few of these, um, that have a little bit more age on them if you're interested. And... Daqing or Daqing Gushu, Daqing Village in Jingu. This has um, been since 2000, I want to say 2015. I think we started producing this and it's been one of our most popular Jingu teas. Um, powerful, complex, very balanced. Um, and this autumn one is, um, is a perfect example of that. It's perfectly processed and just an all around solid tea. So. Check out um, Da Qing, um, Da Qing Gu Shu on the website under Yunnan Sourcing, Da Qing Village, and you'll find some older versions of this tea as well that you want to check out. And there's some reviews um, that people have written both on the site and I think around on the, in, on the internet, on the line, as it were. Um, another classic, kind of one of the top Jingu teas that, um, that we offer is the Huangshan Gu Shu. Huangshan basically means kind of like, you know, lonely or primitive mountain. Um, it doesn't refer to any specific area, although it's from a specific area, but we don't share that per se. Um, Huangshan Gushu is also one that I think we started in 2015 producing and is just along with Da Qing um, Gushu has been one of our top Jingu teas. Um, a lot of complexity, a lot of sweetness, um, buttery. Just really complex, good tea. So check that out. Check out some of the older ones as well. And uh, new for 2017 autumn, this is actually the first time we produced this village, Gang Haizi. This is a really incredibly affordable cake. Um, it's It's got a nice cooling, um, almost oolong-like character to it, um, but it also has that, you know, sun-dried, poor, um, you know, bitterness and, and that mouthfeel as well. Not to confuse it, it's definitely processed as poor tea, but it has a really unique character. Um, it's also one of the more most affordable teas from our autumn line as well. Um, highly recommended. Don't let the lower price scare you away from this tea. It's, it's really solid and it's really unique as well. Um, so that concludes our um, Jingu line. And we have our... I just wanted to look here. And I apologize for, I've forgotten the name of the wrapper designer for this, um, somebody from Portugal. Um, and I probably, even if I could say it, I couldn't pronounce their name correctly. This is the Zhengjia Lianzi. This is a classic. So again, this is our Iwu series. Um, so all the teas in this wrapper, I believe they're all from Iwu this season, Iwu area. Um, Jingjia Lianzi, actually the first time we've made this tea. Um, and this is autumn 2017. This is a pure Asamica varietal from, from Iwu. It's classically Iwu, I think, in character, but it's very strong tea. Very, very strong cha chi and taste and mouthfeel. Um, we're really excited to be able to offer this tea finally. And again, a newcomer, Mansom. And this is a Mansom uh, tea. The famous Mansom village used to be part of the, um, the, the emperor's um, officially designated tea garden. He officially designated having a tea, um, his own tea garden in Mansom village in Iwu and all that tea that came from there. Um, back in the day. Um, you can read a little bit more about the history uh, of this on the listing here. Um, was designated only for the emperor. Um, our Manson is a, um, like a small tree, so it's not like a, it's not the original old grove 
um, because that's just insanely expensive. And even then, money doesn't just just like back in the day, money doesn't buy, <laughs> money doesn't get you the original, you know, old tree manson. There's just so little of it. Um, but we were able to get from the same village area the manson um, xiao shu, as they say, which has the same unique character that manson has. Um, and I think is a really, really good tea. And, you know, it's to me, it's not about the name. When I drank all these teas, I drank them blind. And um, this is one of the top performers, even though it's not a, it's not perhaps as old, the trees are not as old as um, a lot of the other um, Iwu teas that we produce. It doesn't matter if tea's good, it's a good tea. So yeah, check this out, Mansom. Um, maybe one of the few opportunities for people to taste real Mansom tea. Um, again, but not from old tea trees. I wish. Walong, Walong Village, um, classic pure Samica uh, tea. This one I've produced since 2013. Um, I went um, I went to Walong in 2013. It was the first time, and also in 2015 as well. And um, Walong Village, she it grows outside of the village in literally just the mountains. Um, really incredible growing environment natural a mix of old, older and you know kind of no, naturally growing tea trees not all old but just like literally you know just tea trees helter skelter growing everywhere wild so um a true wild tasting a true wild tea and you feel it in the taste as well in the chachi it's very very nice and uh, i can't recommend this tea enough i think people um they drank if you've tried the 2013 walong um then you definitely want to check this out as well if you like that. And here's the Ding Jia Jai. Ding Jia Jai. Um, also, um, we produced a tea from this area called Yao Ding. And uh, Yao Ding and Ding, da, Ding Jia Jai are basically the same area. Um, this is a mostly Yaozu minority uh, uh, people living in this area. Uh, one of the higher altitude areas in Iwu. This is a pure Samica, um, Daiyejong varietal. And the last time we produced Ding Jia Jai village from this particular producer actually was 2009 autumn, um, one of our first Iwu productions. Um, so um, we are been reunited with this particular grower and we were able to produce a fantastic tea from their um, from their garden this year with this autumn 2017 check that out and Yisha Mo Yisha Mo is um, another pure Asamica um, area uh, small village Yisha Mo Hailong has um, Hailong Hao has produced a lot of Yisha Mo this year I was able to get him to um, to give me a little bit of um, his autumn production um, so I'm really happy to be able to offer some Yisha Mo tea, really high quality tea. If you've tasted some of Hailong's Yisha Mo teas, um, they are fantastic and um, they often sell out, very high priced. We're really proud to be able to offer our own. Thanks to Hailong for helping us um, source this wonderful tea. And last but not least, one of my classic favorites, um, from Iwu is uh, Ibang. Ibang area, I believe, is uh, to the west in, of the Iwu town, and it's its own distinct area um, within the six famous tea mountains. Ibang was one of the six. So Ibang is a uh, mixed leaf varietal, a jom xiao yejom as they call it, um, and it has its own really unique um, sweetness, high aroma, um, it's smaller tea leaves, although it's from mature tea trees. Excuse me. And uh, we've produced Ibang tea since 2010. I believe our first Ibang tea was 2010 autumn. And we've produced uh, Ibang tea from the same growers um, since that time over the course of several years, both spring and autumn. So definitely check out some past Ibangs and uh, maybe pick up this one as well. At least pick up a sample and uh, give it a try. We're gonna be coming out with some samplers uh, for these autumn teas uh, pretty soon, so be watching out for that. 
and um, yeah, thanks for watching. We really appreciate um, appreciate y'all, and we're looking forward to having a great year of the dog with everybody. Thanks.